Real good news for car lovers. The Miami <laughs> International Auto Show is now open. But the bad news, it won't be around again next year. There's mu much more that there's more to that, though. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Miami Beach to explain and to show us some cars. Ty. Well, Ruta Van Elliott, big changes are on the way, and I should say that it is expected to be crowded this weekend. It's a little quiet right now on the floor because night one just ended at 11 o'clock. You can see in the distance a Maserati, a Porsche, some fancy, fancy cars here. And I talked to an organizer before the event closed for night one about the rough ride for the car show over the last several years. What's known as Camp Jeep is an amusement ride that's back at this year's Miami International Auto Show in Miami Beach. There is also a line of cars people can test drive when the sun is out. All of this is, of course, outside. Inside the convention center, people can check out the latest 2020 whip or take a trip down memory lane and see some old school cars. Organizers counted close to a thousand vehicles on the floor. What I thought was fast back in the day. It's the 49th year for the car show, All right. which started Friday evening. It's great to be here to, you know, kind of break the ice, be the first. This couple noticed a big change compared to last year. I think it's much better than last year. Yeah, last year was a little bit limited. This year's there's a lot more selection. From now until November 10th. Organizers expect 300,000 people. The showrunner admits the event needed a tune-up to meet that goal. We didn't have a show two years ago. Last year we had we were the first show in this building, so we're still going through the kinks of the show, kinks of the building too. So we had a tough year last year. Organizers dealt with convention construction, concerns over Zika, and storm threats in the last few years. And some manufacturers have pulled out of car shows altogether. Organizers say despite that, the next show will be even bigger and in a different month. Some other shows up north move to the summertime, so we're going to take advantage of that and move to February. That means no show in the year 2020. The 50th will be in February 2021. It's a show that attracts people from all around the world. This is the first time we're here in Miami to the auto show. Electrics. We're here to see electrics. And they're already gearing up for their next visit. And the folks who are actually on the floor are called narrators. Their goal is to get people excited about buying cars like this, but not from here, but from a local dealership. And I've been looking around, and since the holidays are coming up, Elliot and Ruta Bay, I've been eyeing that Porsche over there, so uh, that's <laughs> definitely on my Christmas gift. Back to you guys. Oh, so you'll have two cars then. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind, Ty. <laughs> we'll see what Santa brings you. <laughs> uh, keep on dreaming, Ty. Thanks a lot.